Hello, this is Ann with Ann Ceramics and welcome back into my workshop. Today we're going to look at dry brushing smooth areas on a piece and it's a little bit different from doing the raised areas. You know when we do a raised area we just go over the top of it and so that we hit the top but then when we want to do down into here it's still dry brushing we're still working with that same brush and the technique of taking the paint out of our brush uh, working it into the bristles and everything and then come up in. The biggest difference is on the smooth areas you're going to use a circular motion and you're just going to work it right in there just like that and then go all the way around where we want this darker blue. This is the Happy Halloween plate. I'm going back into navy blue which is what I've started with. Going back to my paper and I'm painting my brush around to get that paint worked into the bristles of the brush. You have to work it a little bit different when you're doing this. And then I'm going to come back in and I'm going to look for all that smooth sky area, which is what I'm wanting to get this navy blue on. And so I'm going to work down there and there and I'm going to work. And some of it's going to get on the trees and things like that, but basically we're down inside that area. Uh, one of the things about dry brushing a smooth area is that it normally takes three coats. You have to go over it the third time. First time you do it, it looks, well, not too do good. Second time, you think, oh, that's going to come out pretty good. And then by the time you get to the third, you go, oh, I'm glad I did it this way. This is turning out really nice. So you can kind of see where my sky is starting to develop. And I'm getting that navy blue into it really good. And I'm going to do a little bit more of it. And then I'm going to show you a different piece where we're doing, going to do the same thing. And that's just right here. I'm getting in between all these little clouds and right up next to my moon. I hope you can see what I'm doing. I'm trying to hold it. Being camera person and painter and talker all together. So sometimes that works and sometimes it doesn't. So... But you can see how I'm just kind of getting into those areas. And kind of keep coming back to it. Getting it over and just kind of get it back and forth and do that. I'm going to go all the way around this riding and everything and bring this down. And it'll get onto the lettering on the plate, and sometimes it'll get onto different details that you maybe later on you're not going to want it there, but that's okay because you can come back and we're going to do other things with that. And so that's okay. So we're going to get right in between all of that. And it's going to stay on the ridges, but it's also going to go underneath those ridges, which is really where we want this background color. This was base coated with the pickling slate which is really a neat color. I really enjoy using that color. It's good for doing, um, uh, for base coating different items that you want to do. So you'll enjoy, enjoy the pickling colors. And you can kind of see I'm kind of getting that in there. And really I've just about got all of the navy on here that I want. I've got it just about everywhere that I'm going to take it. And then I'm going to come back with some intense blue. I'm going to use the same dirty brush. I'm not going to change brushes or wash it or anything like that. I'm going to use the same dirty brush. You get a little bit more of this navy on here. You can see I've just about got it. All of the sky areas done with that. And when you get through with doing all of the sky areas and you get all your other colors painted in, it's really going to pop for you and, and look good. So now I'm going to go over here and I'm going to pick up some intense blue. Get my paper straight. Can't stand my paper not being straight. I'm one of those people. I've got my intense blue, same brush, still working it in. Got it in there. And so now I'm just going to come back and I'm going to very lightly touch this. Because I want to lighten it up just a little bit. And it's not going to take much to do it because you can see the color is starting to develop. And it's going to look a little bit better. I'm hoping in this video it does anyway. My brush is getting fully loaded so it takes a little bit longer to work it. 
into the bristles the way I want it. And that's just practice. You'll learn how to load the bristles in that brush, but it just takes practice. Now, same brush, I'm going to pick up some Sweet Violet. And with this, I'm going to kind of lighten it up a little bit. And this is going to still make a really pretty sky. So I've got Sweet Violet, same dirty brush, and I'm going to start at the bottom this time. And you see how I'm not raising the brush? I'm staying right on the plate and putting that down in there. Lighten it up just a little bit. And a little bit more. And then we're going to come along and just kind of streak it. And you know it's always going to be darker at the top. If you look at a night sky, it's always darker at the top because it has less sunlight coming in. And down at the bottom is where you still get a little bit of glow of the sun coming out of the horizon. So it's going to be a little bit lighter. So I'm going to take just a touch of white. Still same dirty brush. Have not changed brushes. Working that white. I've worked a little bit of white in there. And I'm going to just come across this horizon. And lighten this up. Don't forget my little corner over here. You can kind of see how it's just flowing into there. Okay. A little more white, and it's not, you just kind of hit and miss at this point. You're still not raising the brush up off the plate, you're staying on the plate, but by the same token, you're not doing a straight line. You're just kind of, it's just kind of like that. And now you're ready to come back and do some of your other dry brushing and finish it up in another way. Another thing that we can do is I've got a piece here, and it's the same thing. I've got face coated in black, and now I'm going to come back with the brush. And again, you don't raise it off the piece. You keep it down on the piece. And you rub around all his cheeks and everything. And keep in mind that it's going to take about three coats to do it. So the first coat, that looks terrible. Second coat, looking better. You can start to see the color develop on it and everything. And then you have to kind of let it dry a little bit more, but then you come back in with your third coat. And you'll get your full color that way. And you can get your color on. You do it. This needs a little bit more work. It needs to dry some in between the coats, but you can see that it's starting to develop and starting to get into there. And so you can work with it a little bit more. He looks kind of like a ghost right now. But by the time we get through and get the rest of the detail on him and everything, he'll be starting to look good. So keep this in mind as you start to work on your next projects. When you're dry brushing a smooth object, the main thing is to not raise your brush off of the piece. Keep it on there. Have a great day. Again, this is Ann with Ann Ceramics.